I love you. Uh oh. <laughs> Just made a bit of a discovery, and I think I'm gonna throw out October, November. Like, oh my god. She's only four years old, and she's already had 12 lambs. We're gonna be done lambing today. Who's gonna be first, ladies? It's a race to the finish line. You ready, honey? Good morning. It is Monday and we are uh, we're starting a bit early because Chris is smart and she got a chiropractor appointment. This is the group I weighed and we're, most of them were ready last week, well 10 of them were ready last week, but it wasn't enough to really make a good load. So we're actually going to drop the weight down to 100 pounds or over this week. We need to thin out this barn, it's too hot, we're getting into some hot temps and I just don't like their growth rate so we need to thin out the barn a bit. They're big, they're eating well, but um, I just think we need to uh, thin out the population a bit more. Yeah, we're going 100 pounds or over, we'll go on this side, um, and then, yeah, the rest will go back and wait a couple weeks. Mother Nature's making some noise out here, and the sky is looking ominous. Whoa. Huh. I actually asked Mark to give me a hand, and we got the nanny working finally. I had to order a very expensive little spinner motor, uh, because that spinner was acting up really bad last night. I had to stand here feeding these lambs for Probably about three quarters of an hour to make sure everybody got fed before night time. Oh, my ewes are just, just making their way in. Beauty. Oh no, now they're, now they're making their way out. That's more like it. I'm gonna sort my ewes that are gonna get bred here in a couple weeks. I wanna cedar them this week. So I have a list sorta of made up that I wanna um, take out a few mamas that were underachievers shall we say we know that we had a lot in March I think I have 20 something written down and then um, I'll do an utter evaluation and pick out any other ones that aren't on my list a little update on Jess I wish I had some better news but it's been a rough weekend um, she hasn't really moved too much beside the couch and the bed pretty much she slept her way through Saturday and when she woke up she threw up so that's no fun. Yesterday wasn't a whole lot different and I thought she was coming around last night at bedtime. We had a good chat and then this morning she woke up and I thought it was going to be a good day. She sat up and I was able to get a smoothie to her in bed and she was drinking most of it. And then I checked on her about an hour later, half an hour later, and uh, she was doubled over in pain. So now she's got these brutal brutal cramps in her abdomen and we're pretty sure it's because there's some blockage happening with all these drugs and not drinking enough and uh, it's agony. So she dreads going to the washroom. Lunch hour was not fun. Um, I held her while she was on the toilet if that gives you any indication of how bad it is. And uh, she was screaming the whole way through it. So um, work this afternoon is somewhat of an escape. Uh, Mark's gonna keep an eye on her this afternoon and then uh, when I get finished this, then I'll run in and make sure she's okay. We're gonna let her sleep for now, but uh, these are all side effects that we were not prepared for. Okay, I do have a list from my computer that any notes that I wrote down or based on the lamb's weaning weight, any notes that I wrote, like if she was a bad mom or if she had one working teat. Um, and today is really about getting a good feel on these udders to make sure They've had no damage. Um, if there's any damage, then they can't service their lambs, and then I can't keep them. Kids are getting antsy, so I better 
get on with life here. Because it's just me, I might do one at a time and use the squeeze gate. Just gonna put an X on them for now and put them back all together, and then it'll be a, just a quick sort when I have to pull them out on like ship day. Oh, it's starting to rain, it's gonna get loud. Good morning you guys. I sort of bailed on you yesterday afternoon after I finished sorting those ewes. We had so many issues with Jess yesterday, I just had to hang out with her for the rest of the day. This morning I got up early but there was no action and then Carissa just texted me here while she was feeding. She goes, oh, I see a water bag. <laughs> yeah. So this mom has been at it for about, about three quarters of an hour now. So I'm gonna set up some lambing pens. Just let her do her thing for a bit. Hopefully she has this baby by about 10 o'clock because I have to run Jess to London again for her single dose treatment. I just hope she's feeling okay today. Have a look do, shall we? Uh, I think it's backwards. Yeah. yeah, we were talking for a reason. I don't really know what I'm allowed to show anymore because YouTube has sort of demonetized two of my last three videos. So I don't know if it's lambing. Like they did this a couple years ago. That a girl. This lamb is aggressive. It's like kicking out. So there's your backwards feet. Good girl. Good girl. Girl. Okay. Good question, that's good. Good. Hey, baby. Oh, you did that. What do you got? Hi, little boy. Hi. Can I check you for another one? I feel ahead. This one's coming the right way. Oh, it has a big foot, though. Good. We got a head, we got a leg. Yep, you can go down. Yep, good. Big clam. Hi, buddy. Another boy, two boys. Please just have two. Yes, two. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mama, what the heck? No! 
Why don't you have any milk? You've got to be kidding me. What's your number? Oh, she might be an older you. Oh no. Mom either doesn't have milk or she just hasn't come into it yet. There's no udder damage. It feels really good. We had one other one do this, this go around. Looks seemingly fine and no milk. Okay, well we'll feed these babies. Good girl anyway. She might be coming into it. We'll see. I love you. I love you. Just getting back from uh, Jess's appointment, it took way longer than anticipated. It is like 5.30, 6 o'clock, something like that. And while I was gone, Mom decided to have a third. And I believe she still does not have milk. So I have, uh, have a bottle warming up here. What a shame. We get to the finish line and we just want to be done and we're going to have three more bottle babies. Unless she comes into her milk overnight, but I don't know. Okay, get you guys fed. Hey, okay? really cute. He's really cute. We have some good news. Uh, the lambs, as much as they're talking, they didn't drink very much. And I was like, okay, weird. Because I'm pretty sure Chris had fed them at about quarter to one. And uh, so they should be pretty hungry. And then I checked mom and she came into her milk. So she has milk. It's pretty thick, so it's just nicely coming in now. But, oh my god, that is such a relief. So, I don't know, we'll have to watch her. I mean, she has to come really into our milk to be able to service three. But I really don't want to add more to the bottle lambs uh, if I don't have to. What do you think, Ruby Sue? Are you going to actually have a baby? She is huge. But she has no udder, so that's concerning. How's the creamy? It's out of this world. <laughs> I'm just happy she's eating it. You didn't eat my joke. It's out of this world. The creamy? Oh. I had to think about it. You're such a dad. Good morning. I was not, I, I mean, I was expecting there to be lambs. Um, as for the final four, I mean, the jury's out whether they're even pregnant. They're large enough to be pregnant, but uh, that doesn't seem to really mean much in my facility. But looks like little mama, she's, she's our last first timer. And she had a beautiful set of twins here. So I'm going to get them moved and dipped, and then I'm going to feed these triplets. Even though I think Mama came in her milk, they're on her udder pretty good right now. Hey, Mama. You're good. We're gonna cedar this group today. We just made a bit of a discovery and I think I'm gonna throw up. Uh, one of my Western Rams uh, jumped the gate. So he's been in with these ewes. You didn't see him yesterday. Nope. Did you see him when you fed? Oh, you haven't, haven't fed that pen yet. 
Um, so this morning when I was feeding bottles, these ladies did do like a like a sort of a stampede. So whether that's when he jumped, um, but he definitely wasn't in here when I sorted the other day. So. Our only saving grace is they're really not in heat, but they're certainly acting frisky, aren't they? And it does not take a ram long to service a bunch of accepting ewes. What are we in? Uh, end of June. June, July, August, September, October, November. Like, oh my god. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed that mating was not a success. But usually when you don't want it to happen, it will. So he's in this group. We're gonna kick him out. Once we get to him, we will get him back in his pen. All right, let's cedar this group. All right, this is the handy dandy cedar. And it's basically just acts as a birth control. So it will stop her from cycling for the next 13 days. And then when I pull it, hopefully they all cycle. And that will be day one when I pull it, like 24 to 48 hours later. So this is the applicator. So I'm just putting it in tail first. And then you squeeze the top just so it sits in there. Like so, and then we have a little bit of lube that we uh, squirt on the applicator and it just makes for easy insertion. So we are gonna do this. Um, basically we're synchronizing them and hopefully just helping with this out of season breed because um, this is July, this is the season they don't typically wanna breed. But the daylight did change June 21st. We're on June 29th today, so a week ago. So the days are getting shorter, so you never know. They could be starting to do their thing. Once I get up here, we'll start squeezing them one by one. Okay, so don't let me do the X's. And you can scan as I go. I can, I've got all data so I'm gonna let them all out. Well, didn't this day get away from me? It's like uh, five o'clock. Um, we did get the ewes cedared this morning, Chris and I, and I actually haven't sorted any of the ones uh, that didn't get cedared. I haven't sorted them out yet, so I still have to do that. Um, I did get my boy out, no problem. And I put another, so I have the two big tall gates here. So I'm hoping they can't high jump over that, but I'm still, really somewhat traumatized about this whole thing. You know, I was thinking about it, I'm like, well, worst case scenario, I think those boys got in either this morning or maybe overnight, and that would mean they'd be like two weeks early. And sometimes we have lambs a week early anyway, so it is what it is. It's just like, November really stresses me out because that's when we're usually trying to get corn harvest wrapped up. I'm usually trying to wean lambs, get this barn cleaned out. We're dealing usually with an early winter, um, or potentially an early winter, and um, and just having early lambs really messes up my system and I'm so system oriented, especially right now. It's doing me, it's actually benefiting my life so much right now because of uh, Jess and what we're going through with her that I think it's the first time I've, I'm feeling really anxious and overwhelmed because that system failed me today. It goes to show you that having a good system really does take on a lot of stress when there is actual stress in your life. like. Having lambs two weeks early is not the end of the world. It's just, um, 
I, th I think I'm just re repressing quite a bit of things that that are stressful that <laughs> this just like threw me for a loop today. Anyway, my sister showed up today with my brother-in-law and they brought a bunch of goodies and uh, uh, she came to do our books or take her take our books. I don't even know. I haven't been able to even think about business at this point. And, uh, and then Belinda showed up actually and she helped me load my market lamps and we went to, uh, went to Brussels to the sales barn together. So that was really nice. I don't remember the last time I have seen Belinda. It's been ages ago. She's had some new things happen to her, some really new exciting things. So I know she hasn't been putting out YouTube videos but you can follow her on Instagram and figure out what's been going on in their life. A lot of really good stuff. So it was uh, it was really good to chat with her. It was um, it's good for the soul today. However, it's put me behind. <laughs> so I need to do some sorting today um, and get all the sh the use I want shipped in their own pen, including the two pens that um, have those open use. Even if I just get this pen done first, and I can work on the other two pens tomorrow, because. I want to, I really just want to hang out with Jess. When she's feeling somewhat decent, um, I want to spend those moments with her. And uh, today she has not been feeling good and she's just coming around right now. So yeah, <laughs> that's your update. Just walk right. Here. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, ladies. What about you today? Oh, maybe she's coming into her other finally. Oh yeah. Good morning, again. <laughs> we are sorting the two pens that Rex scanned here last week. Um, I was going to just ship them if they were open. I've had a change of heart, which is unfortunate because I should have had the change of heart yesterday when we were cedaring. So these guys are gonna be like a day behind. So I'm gonna split the difference in 13 days and do pull the cedars maybe at night or first thing the next day. So the one group will be closer to maybe 14 days and the other one will be 13 days, but we'll see. And I also, in this group, I, I pushed over the ones that didn't lamb from this group here. So I'm gonna scan them, see if they've had any previous records, like bad records. And if they have, they're also gonna get shipped. So uh, Chris is with me here. We're gonna work together and just basically do what we did yesterday. I'll just see who this is. So she's good. Another mark, so I know to put her in that pen. Okay, she has no milk. And that she was open at scan, I think. 
this was interesting to share uh, this you that had triplets the triplets were really big uh, the first one was 10.4 pounds second one was 12.7 and the third one was 11.6 so that is well over 30 pounds of lamb and the old girl um, and I think she is an older you I have got her marked down as having low milk Carissa actually marked two of the lambs we will take I will take those two to put on the milk machine and she'll probably start training them tonight when she's done chores. Give them a real long period without being with mom to make them good and hungry. They're used to the bottle. They should go on fairly decent because they're bigger lambs. But we will see. Every, every lamb is sort of a, a guessing game, but uh, we're hoping anyway. I am curious just how old this mom is. Oh, she's had 12 lambs. She's only a 2019 ewe, so she's only, she's only four years old and she's already had 12 lambs. Oh, that makes me sad that she's low milk. The problem now is the lambs are big enough that maybe she's not really low milk, but they're just too big to all three of them get enough of her. So I was really hoping she could at least service two, but I said to Carissa, let's just pull two off, make sure she's at least feeding one well, instead of sacrificing two. You know what I mean? Here's some numbers. As of today, right now, we have 227 lambs out of 98 ewes. 2.316 lambs per ewe. I am taking a wild guess here. I think we have two more ewes left to lamb. I believe this little brown ewe is not pregnant. She has no udder. Ruby Sue, I was, I was tempted to say she wasn't pregnant except for she's huge. She looks like she swallowed a barrel um, because she had no udder. And literally today is the first sign of an udder I've seen. So she's just waiting to the bitter end. And the other one has an udder. She's large and she's actually starting to sort of ripen up in her back end. So I think we're gonna have two more that's gonna lamb. Today is officially their due date sort of of the second cycle. Just depending on when they cycled, these ladies might be closer to the 21 days, but we'll see. Hey baby, welcome to your new home. And five stars. I would five. Would recommend. It's really good. And you're feeling a little better today. A little bit. I'm a little bit more like myself. Good. Sitting by the sun. By the window. Yep. Change of scenery. Yep. And my back was hurting. <laughs> <laughs> You've really been on a bed and a couch. Yeah. It's quite the bed. Mm -hmm. Drink up. Gotta love laxatives. <laughs> <laughs> this week we sure do. Yikes. Good morning. Someone alerted me on my uh, security cameras that she was indeed in labor, and I do believe she is too, because there's a little, little stringer hanging there. So we're gonna be done lambing today. I just don't know when. 
Who's going to be first, ladies? It's a race to the finish line. Oh, there she goes. Oh, I see a nose. Oh, I don't see a foot, little lady. Would you like some help? I know I see a nosy, but I don't see a footsie. Oh, it's right here. You ready, honey? And it feels like a really big lamb. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, I think she got another one. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. going on with it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. His uh, looks fine. Like, he looks fine. But his, like, bones here look odd. Would you say? I don't know. Maybe it's a blessing. Like, maybe if he was alive, maybe it wouldn't, like, these feel, those don't feel right. You got another one? Is that it, Ruby Sue? Just a one or? Well, two, but. Good job. You have huge mammary. Oh. She's got a ton of milk. You're going to do just fine, little man. I think that's it. Done. Now, do you have milk? No. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't eat it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no milk again. Ruby Sue gave me a whole bottle of colostrum off of one side, so I'm gonna I'm gonna supplement these lambs today until hopefully she comes into her milk. She's a 2018 ewe, so she should be alright. Oh, you are gorgeous. Look at those eyes. Oh, you're hungry. Okay, Mom can clean you guys off. And then I will get you milk. Care of Ruby Sue. <laughs> <laughs> 